In a jail uniform, 26-year-old Richard Rojas faced a judge, looking sheepish, a far cry from the crazed facial expressions during his Times Square arrest. Prosecutors say Rojas deliberately used his SUV to mow down pedestrians, killing 18-year-old Alyssa Ellsman, a tourist from Michigan, and injuring 18 others, allegedly telling investigators his goal was to, quote, kill them all. In court, he was nearly silent, a hello to the judge and a two-word plea. You enter not guilty plea and then we're filing motions. That's Enrico DeMarco is Rojas' attorney, and we asked about his client's state of mind. He was allegedly high on PCP laced marijuana that day, and his friends say there is a history of psychological problems they say worsened after his time in the military. All of it could become a foundation of his defense. Is a mental defense. At this point, it's too early, but yes, of course. It was May 18th. Police say Rojas drove up onto the sidewalk on 7th Avenue at 42nd Street, continuing down the sidewalk for his deadly rampage that ended at 45th. A survivor of the crash is Dunellen High School student Jessica Williams, so badly injured she missed her graduation last month. It was her mother, seen here leaving the courtroom, who accepted her diploma. In court, the mother's emotions alternated from crying to making angry hand gestures at Rojas. She had nothing to say to reporters. Manhattan's district attorney said Rojas intentionally killed and hurt people in one of the busiest places on earth, leaving injured survivors in various states of recovery, hoping for justice. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.